Hello there again everyone, my name is Jay White 8559 and I'm a support team member here on DeepBot and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to use the roulette minigame. To use the roulette minigame you first need to make sure you're on version 0.9.7.1 and secondly you need to make sure that you are VIP because the roulette minigame is a VIP only feature. I will post the link to purchase VIP in the description of the video as long as, as along with the wiki to the roulette minigame. Now I have already set uh, partially set this up. Now um, in the wiki as you guys will see it has the CLR browser links uh, for this. I will, so I, again I will post the wiki for the roulette minigame <coughs> in the description of the video. Now for me, I'm going to use the first link. I already have it set up on OBS, as you can see right here. Now, um, there are custom, not there are uh, dimensions that come with this. Uh, they are 1290 by 168, and this is the CLR browser that I am currently using with the dimensions. And on the CSS tab, as by default there is a small amount of CSS in there you'll want to delete that completely out and then click OK and then after clicking OK you'll go to your stream interaction mini games and right here is the roulette now <clears throat> you before you click enabled you'll want to name it and uh, the activation command for me I'm going to leave it as default because roulette you know roulette sh it should be used as roulette now exclamation roulette will be the execution command now I'm going to click enabled and then broadcast winners in chat that just broadcast the winners in chat basically whoever wins it will post it in chat and if you don't have that check it won't post the winners so I'm going to broadcast the winners max bet uh, is the maximum amount of points a person can bet on the roulette command or on the roulette minigame now I'm going to use it as 200 now auto run the game is constantly running so uh, this is the amount of minutes that need to pass before the uh, roulette will spin now if there are no bets in place the roulette will not pop up on screen however again it is still running now once you place a bet uh, <clears throat> the bets will appear on screen and then when 30 seconds is left on the timer the spinner will will pop up and then when the timer runs out it will spin now even though you use the roulette command the all run timer does need a timeout before it runs so now that I've got that I'm going to turn on the roulette now <clears throat> I have it set for two minutes and almost all it has passed so I am going to make a bet roulette 200 on red and as you can see my bet has popped up now 30 seconds the spinner pops up and then when the timer runs out it will spin so we're just going to wait for the timer to run out now while we're waiting for the timer to run out, uh, there is a delay in when the winners get posted in chat. There is a 25 second delay. That way it gives your stream time to catch up before it posts it. So that way it doesn't like give away the winners before you can, you know, before the roulette finishes and before your stream can catch up. So it ended up on red red seven now we're going to wait for the 25 seconds to pass and uh, there you go the winning number was seven roulette winners are jy8559 400 a bet of 200 on red is per the r next to the 200 now again this game is constantly running so again the timer does pop up you can hide the timer and the numbers by using the other CLR links uh, 
Again, I will post all links needed in the description of the video. If this video was helpful or you liked it, please give it a like. Also, you can subscribe to my channel to be notified when I release future videos for Dbot tutorials. Thanks for watching. I hope all of you guys have a nice afternoon. See ya.